What is up guys, Oscar here with Dual Kingdom. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my Trap Tricks deck. Normally, I would show you guys in real life what I have in hand, but I wanna do something a little bit different in today's video. I wanna use EDO Pro and show you guys uh, what I have on my main deck, extra deck, and side deck. And I know EDO Pro gives us an option to do a test hand, so towards the end of the video, I will do a little test hand and show you guys what my board will look like going first. Uh, but yeah, Trap Tricks has become super fun. It just received a couple new uh, new support in this Trinity Code set uh, that I have right on here on my deck, so I will show you guys what, what those cards are. But without further ado, let's get it started on the video. So for the monster lineup, I do have three Trap Tricks Marmello. Uh, she lets you add any trap hole card from the deck to your hand. Also, when she's special summoned, um, you can pop any back row. So she is really good, not once per turn either. So if you have the chance to special summon her twice in that same turn, you can pop two back rows, which is really, really good. For the next monster lineup, I have three Mantis. When she's normal summoned, she lets you add any Trap Tricks monster from the deck to your hand. And also, she has a quick effect. You can bounce any set, trap, or spell from your field, bounce it back to your hand. She is really good. Uh, she she goes along with um, with Dianea. I like to use her effect off of Dianea's because Dianea, when she's special summoned, she lets you set any, any trap hole card from the graveyard, set it in your field. But at the end of your next turn, if you didn't use that trap card, it's banished. So I want to use Bantus effect to add that trap card, add it back to my hand. So it's really cool because you can recycle your trap hole cards. Um, her normal effect, you can special summon any trap tricks monster from the graveyard in defense position. So she's a follow-up play. I like normally like to search Dianea off of Mantis off of Mantis so that way I have a next following play. For the next trap tricks monster, I do have one Atrax. So Atrax, as long as she's in the field, you can activate normal trap hole cards from your hand. So that is really, really good. Um, and also, she has a secondary effect, which is, uh, let's see, the activation and effects of normal trap cards uh, that activates on your side of the field cannot be negated. So that's really, really good. For the next monster, I do have Nepenthes. I only have one Nepenthes. I was running Gangleisha, but just not a big fan of her effect that you have to attribute her. So I decided to take her off and replace her with Nepenthes. Now, on paper, Nepenthes sounds really, really good. Um, so whenever a normal trap hole activates on your side of the field, um, you can special summon a trap tricks monster from your deck or add it to your hand. So you have both of those options. If you have Sarah on the field as well, you can special summon two trap trick monsters on the uh, on, on your opponent's turn so or in your turn. So that's really, really good. So we'll give her a try and see how it goes. So for the next monster lineup, I do have three parallel exceed. Uh, this is the newer monsters that just came out on the new Eternity Code. Uh, its effect is really good. So whenever you Link Summon, his effect will trigger to Special Summon himself to that zone that Link Monster points to. And then you can Special Summon another Parallel Exceed from the deck. So you have two Parallel Exceed right there. Uh, only downside is that their level becomes halved and their attack and defense as well. To me, it's completely okay because I don't use any rank eights. I do mainly rank fours. So having a level four Exceed, two level four Exceeds on the field, that's a plus for me. So that's an easy Reflasia right there, or any rank fours. So three Exceed for sure. I do have one Artifact Scythe and one Artifact Moral Attack because I, we are running the Artifact Sanctum Trap card. Uh, so you need to have Scythe so that way you can stop your opponent from using his extra deck. And Moral Attack will let you pop off any any pop will let you pop any face up card in the field. So Moral Attack is really good. So I do have the two the two Artifact monsters. That is it from a monster lineup. Total is 16. I do have one spell trap, and that is double or nothing. Uh, that's the only thing I need for the OTK. You really don't want to run more than one because you don't want to see it, of course. You want to search it off double or nothing. Um, Utopia double, my bad. So one is okay. So now we're going to go into my trap cards. Uh, so I do have three Floodgate Trap Hole. Honestly, um, I might cut it down to two just because I can recycle it back with Dianea and add it back to my hand off of Mantis. So I want to cut this down to two, but right now so far three has been working really, really well for me. Um, for the next traps, I was running one bottomless, uh, but there are times in games that I really wish I had my second bottomless. So that way it eats up my opponent's normal summon along with Floodgate. Um, but you know, I decided to cut, cut down the time space trap hole. I had it at two, but now I cut it down to one just to add the second bottomless and see how it goes. I really wish bottomless was rewarded differently because a lot of monsters nowadays cannot be destroyed by card effects. And I hate that bottomless destroys a monster first before it banishes it. So I really wish it really said banish it, you know, instead of just destroy then banish. Uh, but it's totally okay. Um, like I said, it eats up a lot of my opponent's normal summon monsters along with Floodgate. And that way it's less resources for them to continue. 
For the next trap pull, I do have one time space, like I mentioned, time space is really good. So whenever your opponent special summons from the hand or extra deck, you can shuffle them back into their uh, into their extra deck or their deck. Um, and then you take a thousand per monster. So for the next one, I do have two Grave Diggers. This is a newer trap card that just came out in the Eternity Code set. Uh, two is completely fine. So what Grave Digger does is whenever a monster activates in its hand and your opponent's hands, graveyard or banished or banished monsters effect is activated, uh, you can negate that effect and your opponent takes 2,000 of the face. So Grave Digger is really good. Two is completely fine because uh, you really don't want to see, oh, I don't want to see it as much. I want to use Reflasia's effect and dump Grave Digger to the graveyard and then uh, they take 2,000 life, point, uh, life points whenever I negate that effect. So it, it can work either with uh, Hand Traps or Nibiru. If you're going to get Nibiru, you can negate it with uh, Grave Digger. So really good card. For the next traps, I do have three Shade of Brigandine. Three is completely fine. You really want to see this in your opening hand. So whenever you don't, so if you don't have any traps in your graveyard, you can activate it that same turn, and you can special summon it as a monster as well as a level four. So it's really good. And then Sarah's effect, if you have Sarah on the field, completely great because you can special summon another trap tricks monster from the deck, and you have a rank four right there, easy. So. For the next ones, I have two Lost Winds. I was running two Heavy Storm Duster, but I wanted to replace it with Lost Winds and see how it would work. So I do have two Lost Winds, um, just to give it a try and see how it goes. Like I said, on, on, on paper, it looks really good. So we'll give it a try. And then I have three Compose, because Compose is super strong in today's format. I have the three Artifact Sanctums, and also three Trap Trick. So with having three Trap Trick, you're, out, you're actually running six of everything. Like you're running six Sanctums, six Compose, six Brigandine, six lo five Lost Winds. Uh, so Trap Trick is really good to keep it at three. Um, the only downside is you can't activate any Trap Cards after it, after, after you activate it, uh, Trap Trick. So keep an eye on that. Um, and for the next Trap, I do have one Imperial Order. I don't like, as you see, I don't run any any spells so it wouldn't really hurt me uh so having that one imperial order is completely fine 700 every standby face is nothing um i can always just pop it if i need to uh but yeah the one imperial order is really good because it would hurt a lot of a lot of decks right now in today's format so that is it for my main deck 16 monsters one spell 23 traps um and then we'll go into the extra deck three sarah's completely must she is amazing she is what keeps this deck going it's probably the engine of this deck uh, so as soon as you have Sarah on the field and a trap card activates, you can special summon a trap tricks monster from your deck. And if that monster activates its effect in that same turn, you can set any trap hole from your deck to the side to your side of the field off of Sarah's effect. So Sarah is really good. You want to really want to uh, keep her at three. I do have the one Penta stack just to do piercing on defense because you were running Floodgate uh, and it's just for Utopia double. So just make sure you special summon Utopia double and it's a uh, zone that Penta stack is pointing to. The one Dagda, because we are running the Artifact uh, engine. The Boral Sword for, you know, OTK. Just in case, you know, if our Utopia double gets negated, we still got Boral Sword. Uh, for the rank 4s now, I do have one Reflasia. Reflasia is completely fine at 1. I really want to summon her first before anything. That way she can protect my Trap Trick monsters from being destroyed by card effects or by battle. So having that one Reflasia is really good. Especially, you know, nowadays a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, four, a lot of decks are running a lot of hand traps. So Reflasia will be able to stop some of the hand traps um by sending grave digger to to the graveyard from your deck so reflation is really good <clears throat> wanda lumaris uh she is the newer cards that just came out in trinity code she is really good you can detach two and special summon any trap trick monster or insect or plant monster from your graveyard to your side of the field she also has a secondary effect if an opponent monster leaves the field because of your card effect um and it is now in their graveyard or banish you can detach one and target that monster and special summon it in your side of the field so although Mars is really good so i do run one of each uh the utopia package 39 utopia and utopia double I do have Tornado Dragon, uh, you know, just to pop my own my own scythe if I do draw into it, or just to pop the Imperial Order if I need to. For the most part, I don't, but normally I have it just to pop my own scythe, um, or if my my opponent is just heavy back rows, just like me, then just pop their back row as well. Um, the one Abyss Dweller, the one Castell. Baguska and for the memes, uh, Ryudor. Ryudor is such a strong card as well to have. Uh, so that is it for my extra deck. Now let's move on with my side deck. I do have three Nibiru's just going second. Normally, well, for the most part, I do want to go first. But if I know I'm going to go second, I'm going to side some of these in. Uh, three Nibiru's, three evenly matched. I do have the two Heavy Storm Duster just in case if I need it. Um, I do have the Kaiju package as well. Gamma Seal, Sticky, Raiden, and Gardarla. And I have the three Kaiju Slumber. 
so that is it for my main deck um if there is anything that you guys would like me to change or give it a try leave it down in the comment section down below um i am open-minded to you know newer things so just let me know let me know what cards i should take out or replace it with uh but for so far this has been working well so fine with me so now let's move on with the test hand uh since it gives me the chance with edo pro to do a test hand and this is actually a not bad hand so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna normal summon marmelo so we can search off any normal trap hole and we're gonna search for floodgate i really want to see floodgate firsthand so that way it can eat up there at my opponent's normal summon after that we're gonna set down the floodgate down along with the sanctum along with compulse and the shade of brigandine we'll set it down as well all right and now we're gonna link off marmelo and to sarah there you go. Since we have no traps on our graveyard, we can activate Brigandine. And it's gonna special summon himself. And then Sarah's effect will trigger. And we can add and we can uh, special summon any trap tricks monster. So we're gonna special summon Mantis. And we're gonna use Mantis effect to bounce any of these back to the hand and set it down if, if you know it gives us the option to set it down as well. So we'll do that. We'll set it down. We'll set it down right there. Sarah's effect will then trigger since uh, a Trap Chicks Monsters effect was activated. And we're going to set down... Let's set down the bottomless. There you go. And now we're going to do a rank 4. And we're going to bring in Rafflesia. That way she can protect um, our Sarah for being destroyed by battle or card effect as long as she has materials in the field. We're going to summon her in defense position because she has a big booty. 25 defense. That's really, really good. And so now that is it. Uh, we're going to pass turn. And then my opponent's turn, we're going to, of course, activate Sanctum. Uh, that way they can't use their extra deck. Um, and then if they do a normal summon, we're going to activate Floodgate just to eat up their normal summon. Then Sarah's effect will trigger. So let's do the end phase so that way we can activate Sanctum. So we're going to activate Sanctum. Bring out the Scythe. I know this is the end phase. Uh, I, wish it, I wish it was Dueling Book so that way I can show you guys face by face. And then Sarah's effect will trigger since a normal trap card was activated. And then off of Sarah's effect, let's just say they set up a back row. So we're going to bring Marmelo out to pop that back row. And even if your opponent does not have a back row, uh, Marmelo's effect will still trigger, which is really, really good. Um, so now that Marmelo's effect triggered, Sarah's effect will also go off to bring up any trap hole. So let's bring, um, let's bring time space. Set it down. There you go. And now we're going to pass turn. That's going to be our draw phase. Mantis, really, really good. Uh, so what you can do is uh, right now, so let's just say they have a set down card with one back row. Let's just say that. <clears throat> so what we can do right now is we're going to normal summon Man uh, Dianea. We're going to use Dianea's effect to bring Marmelo from the graveyard. And we're going to pop that one back row that they have. Boom. We'll pop that back row, right? Uh, we don't want to use... Um, Sarah's effect because we want a spot opened up for your double or nothing because we're going to go for the OTK right now. So let's not use Sarah's effect. All right. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to go for Utopia double. So first, before we do that, we're going to bring Pentastack. Because they, let's just say our opponent does have a face down. So we're going to do her. Uh, we're going to do Sarah and we're going to do... Let's do Scythe. There you go. Now let's go into Utopia Doubler. We're going to use Marmelo and Dianea. We're going to activate and search up for Double or Nothing. There you go. Alrighty. Then we're going to overlay into Utopia. And we're going to send this to attack just in case. And if just in case we get an Ash or anything or Nibiru, we can chain Reflasia's effect by dis uh, detaching one and sending Gravedigger to the graveyard. Uh, and, you know, they get that effect and they take 2,000 of the face. Uh, so now we're going to do, we're going to go into battle phase. Um, we're going to attack, you know, the set down card with Utopia double. We'll attack, we'll negate the attack, and then we'll chain double or nothing. It'll target Utopia double. Its attack will be doubled, so he's going to swing again. 
and your opponent is going to take 10,000 of the face. And it's going to do piercing because we have pentastack and it's linked to it. It's co-linked. So really, really good. Really good hand. Um, now let's go into another test hand. And this is actually pretty booty. <laughs> so we're gonna set it we're gonna set all this down because we didn't draw into it. any trap tricks monster and we're gonna pass turn and my opponent's turn we're gonna activate uh, sanctum just so they won't be able to use their extra deck uh, so we activate a sanctum scythe is on the field they can't use their extra deck they normal summon okay cool and they swing all right so before they swing we can activate um trap trick and, and bring out um compulse so you can do that as well let's let's end it here see what we get so let's just activate the sanctum just just to have it in field bring out scythe so like i said scythe now let doesn't let him special summon from the extra deck so now it's going to be our turn and we have grave digger we'll set grave digger down <laughs> so we can swing for 22. um we'll swing for 22. we'll pass turn we have Compulse, it's just that we have Compulse off of Trap Trick. Um, and we also have Grave Digger if they, you know, they want to activate something in their hand. Um, and we also have Time Space if they special summon from the extra deck or their hand. So, not too bad. I wish I would have drawn into a Trap Trick's monster instead of Parallel Exceed, but it's totally okay. We still kind of made it work. Uh, another thing I hate is drawing into Double or Nothing. Kind of booty, but it's totally okay. So, we're going to normal summon Marmello. Marmello is now going to bring us a uh, Floodgate because we don't have it in hand. And then we're gonna link off Marmello into Sarah. All right, we're gonna set this down. We're gonna active set this down too, and then we're gonna activate it because we have no traps on our graveyard. Sarah's effect will then trigger. We're going to bring Mantis, so we can bounce this one back to our hand, and then Sarah's other effect will trigger as well. And let's just set it down here Sarah will trigger and Sarah will let us get huh so we have bottomless and uh, floodgate so let's bring time space set it down here and now let's uh, let's bring Reflasia out so she can protect uh, my Sarah and just in case if you have any hand traps or we're gonna get new beard right now or whatnot we could just chain Reflasia and send gravedigger to the graveyard uh, set this down and we'll end face. Player's turn. They normal summon. Cool. We'll floodgate. Set it face down. Um, and then they're going to special summon again. We'll activate time space. They will shuffle that back to the deck. We'll take a thousand. Um, and then Sarah's effect will trigger as well because, you know, trap cards got activated. And if we're going to get Ash, we can just chain Reflasia and send Gravedigger uh, from the deck to the, uh, to the graveyard. So uh, not too bad. We'll end it here. We'll see where our next draw card is. Brigandine. Uh, we don't have any traps on the graveyard as well, so we can bring Brigandine as well. So let's normal summon Nepenthus. We're going to set Brigandine down. Well, I mean, technically we do have traps on our grave, um, but since we can't activate it using EDO Pro, we don't have it right now. Uh, so we'll activate Brigandine. Uh, it's going to pop off. Sarah will pop off again. We'll do more mellow. Pop their back row. And then Sarah's effect will trigger again. We'll bring uh, <clears throat> we'll bring another floodgate. Set it down. And you have options here. You know you can go for Utopia Double, Double or Nothing, Swing. You can bring Tornado Dragon, uh, Ryudor, whatever you like. If you if you know they're gonna use their graveyard, use Abyss Dweller. So completely up to you. Uh, so let's just go for the game. Summon these two. <clears throat> And we have Utopia. Since we searched for double or nothing, um, we should have gone for Utopia, which is completely fine. I totally forgot we draw onto this. Uh, but yeah, you have completely options of what to go with. Let's do one more test hand and see how it goes. Uh, so we're going to normal summon Marmello again. I really do want to see Marmello first opening hand so that way I can search for another trap. And it's going to let us search for Floodgate. All right, we're going to set Floodgate down because we're going to bring Mantis off of Sarah's effect. And we're going to set Brigandine down. We're going to link into Sarah. We're going to activate Shit of Brigandine. Special summon it. Sarah's effect will trigger. We'll bring Mantis. 
Mantis is gonna let up bounce a set spell or trap. We'll set it back down. We'll do it here. And then Seraph's effect will trigger again. We'll set another. We'll bring bottomless. There you go. And we'll set down the scythe. So we have two options here. We can either bring Reflasia uh, to protect our Sarah from being destroyed by battle card effect, or we can bring Tornado Dragon so that way we can pop our scythe and our opponent cannot use our extra deck. Completely up to you. Uh, so let's just bring Tornado Dragon for this video for this video's sake. So let's have it in defense just in case if it have uh, Lightning Storm. You just never know. Um, and then we're gonna pass turn. Uh, and, and you know whatever they do we're gonna activate tornado dragons effect to pop our own scythe especially summon our scythe they can't use the extra deck and if they want a normal summon completely fine we'll just floodgate you know eat up the normal summon then Saras effect will trigger as well uh, or we can do bottomless completely up to you so let's let's see what our draw in hand is so yeah let's just pop scythe scythe effect will trigger there you go okay cool so now we're going to draw. Not bad. We got Lost Wind. Uh, so what we can do is we can normal summon Dianea. Dianea will let us normal summon Mermelo. So we can pop any back row that they have. Boom. And also before you do any of this, if you want, um, you can detach Tornado Dragon and pop you know, one of their back rows just in case if they have like any, any Solums. Um, we'll use Sarah's effect this here we'll activate and we'll just bring another another floodgate set it down there you go and here you can go for game you can just go for utopia double if you would like add it right there we're gonna search for double or nothing take the Sarah off there you go overlay into utopia Awesome. And now let's just say, you know, they do have a face down card or the so we're gonna bring Pentastack because let's just say we did use Floodgate last turn. Uh, so let's bring Pentastack. And now we're gonna we're gonna set this into attack. Uh so we have Lost Wind. We can set this down. And yeah, so we can swing for Utopia Double, use its effect to negate its attack, chain double or nothing. Now it's going to swing again, but instead of 5,000, it's going to swing for 10,000. And we're going to do piercing just because of Pentastack. So there you go. So that is it for a test hand. Uh, before this video gets too long, um, I think my battery is going to die too. Uh, but yes, uh, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the content, uh, leave a like down in the video and uh, just let me know in the comment section down below too what you guys think I should add up to my deck or what should it take off. Like I said earlier in the video, I am open minded. I do read the comments and you know do some changes if I need to. I will do a live duel later in the future with my friends. Either it'll be EDO Pro or Live Duel. I really do want to do a live duel though, just to show you guys how it goes uh, in real life. Uh, but that is it for today's video. Uh, leave a like down in the video if you're not subscribed yet to the video uh, to our channel channel i would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe well that is it have a good one peace out